do I use a function in LibreOffice or any spreadsheet to add up values that only meet a specific criteria? Okay, this is an interesting problem. Um, let me tell you what I mean here. Here in this, this spreadsheet that we're looking at, this factor approval spreadsheet, um, what we see is a list of programs here. And there's tons of different programs here. These are all the program names, okay? And uh, yet we were able to use the sum function to figure out the total amount of money that was offered by factor in the year 2012. But what if I wanted to see how much money was... Uh, was was offered by factor just for say this particular program just the showcase domestic program for example okay there's actually a way to do this and I'm going to show you how to do this um, down here so let's say I just want to look at showcase domestic that's all I want to see okay what I'd like to do is I'm going to use what's called the sum if function it's similar to the sum function except it's actually some if. What it does is you're specifying a particular criteria and you're like only add these numbers up if this number matches the specific criteria I'm going to give you. And this is the syntax for it. I, once again, I'm going to type it out so that you understand how it goes. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it really slow. Um, once you get used to doing this, obviously this is going to go a lot faster for you. You're going to get really fast at doing this. So, you know, but I'm taking it really slow just to make sure you understand how it's going. We write the equal sign, and then we write sum if, and once again, it's not case sensitive. It, it will work if you do it all lowercase. This is the syntax, okay? We've, we're familiar with this. We know functions always have some sort of command and a bracket, okay? Um, there's actually gonna be three, three kind of uh, values that you put in here. The first one is gonna be the range, okay? And by this, I mean not the range of stuff that you're adding up, but the range that you're looking at, the range that you want LibreOffice to look up and kind of match against something else. And this will make more sense as I actually demonstrated, okay? So the first thing is the range. The second thing, the second item is the criteria. And the nice thing is about these little tool tips is that there's a bit of a reminder here. The criteria is what is it that you're looking up? In this case, we're looking up showcase domestic. We want to only find the, the records that say that are refer to showcase domestic, the showcase domestic program, okay? And with that in mind, knowing that that's the criteria we're looking up, what do you think the range is going to be? Yeah, the range is going to be that A column, right? Specifically A2 all the way to A1644. So that's your range. You're looking up the words showcase domestic. And then the sum range, hopefully you can guess this, the sum range is the same thing you used before in the sum function, it's just going to be this, this we're adding up the amount offered. So that's going to be D2 all the way down to D1644. Let's type it out and see what it looks like, okay? So we start with the range. The range we want to look at is A2, whoops, A2 all the way to A1644, okay? Then we're going to put a comma. Okay, then we put whatever it is that we're looking up. In this case, we're looking for the words showcase domestic. Okay, we need to spell that exactly correctly. And because there's a space in there, we need to put quotation marks. Okay, um, then I'm going to put a comma. And then we're going to say, we're going to put in the range that, that we want to sum up. Okay, so let's put, uh, that's going to be D2 all the way to D1644. We're going to close that. And let's just read this logically. Okay, these functions are going to start to get big and complicated. Let's just read this. Okay, if we were to convert this little, this little formula or function to English, it would say, hey, LibreOffice, I want you to look for the words or the criteria showcase domestic within this range, A2 to A64. And if it matches, then add up the corresponding amount offered. And that, if you follow it logically, that should give us the total amount of money that Factor offered uh, in the Showcase Domestic program in the year 2012. So I'm going to hit enter and let's see what happens. There we go. And why is it not formatted That's properly? That's just because we haven't actually formatted it to the number currency. I'm just going to uh, get rid of a couple zeros there. So we now know, according to this, that the total amount of money that was offered by Factor in 2012, the calendar year 2012 for the Showcase Domestic Program was $290,000 and $558. $290,558.
Sorry, $290,558. It's a lot of money. However you say it, it's a lot of money. Okay. Um, one last thing I want to point out here. Here, if we actually go back and edit this particular, I'm going to edit it up here now. You can edit it up here. Okay. If I want to edit this, we notice that I actually typed out the words showcase domestic. What else could I have done? What do you think I could have done here? I'm going to give you a hint. I've got the word showcase domestic written over here. So what I could have actually done is rather than type that whole thing out, I could have just put a cell reference, a cell address in there. I could have said A1647, right? That refers to that cell right there. And if I hit enter, we see it does the exact same thing. And so now the formula or the function, you know, maybe looks a little harder to read, but it's a lot less typing for you. And it also improves accuracy because you don't have to worry necessarily about, you know, spelling errors and things like that. Okay. And I think you probably uh, can guess. And just with that, hopefully you can start thinking about some other really cool things that we can do with this now that we know we can reference different things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and accept that. I'll leave that for a future uh, screencast. But for now, um, you know, think about different situations where you could use the sum if function. Okay. And um, I will leave it at that for now. I hope that that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.